I'm about to show you guys 100 Minecraft build hacks that take you from a noob to a pro. Your friends are gonna be so jealous. And after watching this video, let me know in the comments which are your favorite hacks and what you wanna see more in the future. These right here are all the items we need to make this beautiful TV. What we're gonna do first is place down a dispenser right here, drop in an armor stand, and then go ahead and spawn that armor stand right there. Now I know you're probably like unspeakable, I could've just placed the armor stand, you can. I just wanna do it the fancy way. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spawn on a slab right here, another block on top, and then a piston. And then I'm going to shove this block on his head, just like that. Then go ahead and remove this, put another block there, and then shove it down even further. And then you can delete that. So now you should basically have something like, so then go ahead and fill in your TV just like so. And you can take the black stone slab and continue it on the sides. I'm a genius. Now I'm gonna teach you guys what to do with a really boring corner like like this, an epic fireplace. So what you're gonna do is you're going to dig into the wall and you're gonna place a sticky piston just like so. And then go ahead and put down a magma block and some soul sand. Drop a dispenser on top and then throw a flint and steel inside and do some quartz stairs. Whoa, whoa and then one of these, and then one of these, and then one of these. Go ahead and drop in some redstone, and that is literally it, ladies and gentlemen. So you flick this lever, comes out with the blue fire, then flick this one, comes out with the normal. Next thing, we're gonna make a modern coffee table right here to fit the modern couch. You're gonna go ahead and put down a ton of snow, and then you're gonna put down a little bit of less snow. Go ahead and cover it with some of this white carpet architecture. Kitchen bar chairs, these are super easy. So let's say you have a bar here, you wanna make some cool looking chairs. Go ahead and grab some drip leaves, place them down just like so, then place some trap doors on it. They do look very cool. For this next one, we're gonna make a mini fridge. This one's also super easy. So go ahead and place down a rail, the minecart with a chest, and then delete the rail so it kind of sits down lower. Then we're gonna place two of these blocks, another rail, another minecart with a chest, and push it into the wall. Delete that rail, delete that one, then place the black concrete there, and then the trap door on top. And look at this fridge! Next kitchen item we're gonna build is a blender. This one is actually really cool. So go ahead and drop in an armor stand facing like this. Drop in another one. Then we're gonna drop in a pillar and then a piece of glass. Piston on top, activate it with redstone and then put another block there and push it down one more time. And you can go ahead and delete this. Drop a piece of snow on top and some iron bars for a handle on the side. And ladies and gentlemen, you got yourself a blender. Now we're gonna build a stove. Super excited for this one as well. Let's go ahead and drop in four campfires. And then we're gonna place two blocks here, rail on that block, and then a minecart with a hopper. Break the rail, then break the block, and it should fall just like so. We're gonna do the same thing with the front as well. Now guys, this stove, here is the final touch. See, right now it doesn't really look like a stove. So we're gonna push these iron doors. We're gonna push the iron trap doors on top, push those over. I'm gonna break the floor here, and we're gonna put some redstone torches here. Now, when I place them like this, they will open up and lay just like that. So sick. Stove complete. Leaving the kitchen, it looks absolutely beautiful. We're gonna build a roulette table for some games. All right, so these are all the blocks we need right here. So we're gonna take some moss blocks, three by two, and then we're gonna place two red blocks, two black concrete, and then some rails going in a circle. Some sea pickles, just like so. Drop in some moss carpet right here, and to finish it off, we're gonna do uh, stairs going all the way around. Around. What a beautiful table. The next thing we're gonna build is a beautiful chandelier that actually hangs over the living room. Drop down a couple blocks, delete the top two, and then throw in a drip leaf here. That's gonna be the main support for the chandelier. Drop down these moss blocks and make like a little kind of star like that. Spawn in some of the small mini drip leaves and then underneath, go ahead and throw some beautiful glow berries. Spawn in some string under the glow berries so they don't grow golden berries. The next thing we're gonna do is build a modern bookshelf. Check this out, guys. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and put some books into the wall, make a little staircase like this. Boom, one, two, three. We're gonna spawn a trap door right here, close it. Spawn another one right here, close it. Spawn another one right here. This, and then, yeah. 
Yeah, look at that. Another one right here, and right here, and right here. Throw a flower pot and a flower. You got a cool looking bookshelf. I'm about to show you guys how to make the coolest modern clock right here on this wall. What we're gonna do first is place a block and then place down an end rod this way and this way. Delete that block. And then we're gonna drop in an item frame. And then we're gonna go ahead and type this command in, which gives you a invisible glowing item frame. I can drop in this block and you can't see the item frame. Spawn in more of these invisible item frames and that is going to allow us to make the clock. Look at that. We need something in this corner. Let's build a really cool lamp. So I'm gonna place down some polished blackstone, an end rod, some gilded blackstone, and then we're gonna drop down some banners on each side. Drop a pressure plate on top. The coolest lamp I've ever seen. Kiddish looking bed. So that's exactly what we're gonna build. We're gonna build a race car bed. This is actually a lot easier than you think it is. So we're gonna start at the top with some red concrete, place the bed right in the middle. Then we're gonna grab some black concrete powder and these are going to be the tires. And then we have the side of the car right here and then the front of the car. Red carpet right here, buttons on the side, just like so. And we're even gonna put a wing on this boy. Look at that. Voila, you have a race car bed. But we're not done just yet. We have a cool plant we can build in the corner that looks kind of like the plants from Mario. So we're gonna place down a moss block. Go ahead and place down a drip leaf. We're gonna place red mushroom and then a dead coral fan trap doors on the side and look at that. What if we go ahead and build a motorcycle? I think that would be something pretty cool to add to the front of the house. So what we're gonna do here is build two slabs the opposite direction. Then we're gonna build another two slabs right here. Slab right here, pressure plate right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and do these grindstones, but we're actually gonna place them upside down for the tires. Place a piece of carpet there. Then we're gonna throw a lever on each side for the hand put a button here and then we put a glowing item frame and then yellow standing glass for our headlight. There we go. Now we have a sick motorcycle. Between these two trees, we're gonna build a hammock. So go ahead and place down some trap doors just like so. And then we're gonna place a bed and a bed facing this way. Hammocks aren't exactly the easiest thing to build in Minecraft. They're actually kind of difficult. Place a fence gate on this side and a fence gate on this side. And then some dirt stairs, there we go. Then do the same thing on the other side. Place some spruce stairs and then one of these. And then close that, close that, close that. And voila, let's go ahead and connect the dots. And it actually works. Now we're gonna build a modern barbecue outside in the backyard here. We have a beautiful view, a dock. We even got a little fireplace. Let's start by digging down two blocks, placing down a slab and then dispensers. Put two armor stands, one in each one. Then go ahead and activate these dispensers and you can go ahead and delete them after that. Iron helmets on both of these guys. Then on top of these guys, we're gonna place four iron blocks and then a polished blackstone wall next to a, another dispenser right here here with another armor stand inside. Summon that boy just like that. And then we actually wanna push this armor stand over a little bit. Then you can go ahead and delete this, drop an iron helmet on him, and then delete these four blocks. And he should fall right in the middle. Then we're gonna place two more iron blocks and a piston on top of those. Go ahead and drop in a piece of redstone and then another one, go ahead and delete that. Then you wanna dig down next to this, place a redstone torch, cover it up, and then we're gonna place a iron trap door right here. Thing on the other side. Then we're gonna place two glowing item frames, and then we're going to make two handles, one on each side. So we have our light gray banner, and then our gray die. We're gonna pick this one right here, and then you're actually gonna put it back in there. We're gonna scroll all the way down, and we're gonna pick this one. Then go ahead and take this banner and place it right here and then another one right there. And voila, 
Oh, you have it. It is a lamp. This one's actually really fun. So we're going to go ahead and build it up really high with our drip leaves. And then we're going to place a warp trap door, two warp trap doors. And then we're going to go ahead and place some glow berries underneath, drop some strings, slap it with bone meal to bring out the glowing berries. Oh, you have a really cool, fancy little lamp. Another cool yard decoration is Perry the platypus. This one's super simple. You have two blocks, then you have his little platypus tail, which is two daylight sensors. And then we're going to go ahead and drop some levers on the side of him, a candle for his beautiful brain. And the last thing we're going to build is if you live by water, it is awesome to build a mini pirate boat. So here is our dock right here. We're going to build out four slabs in the water. Then we're going to go ahead and do two trap doors and open them up. Some other trap doors. Open these bad boys. Some dark oak stairs on the front. Follow through with some signs. There we go. So we got signs on both sides. Spawn in two real boats. And go ahead and drop a soul lantern on the front. We are going to make a, a flag. There we have it. It's a pirate ship. Two of these guys. These are so easy to make. Just place down some trap doors underneath and then some carpet on top. And we have a pool ducky. It's just some stained glass and some glass panes. And you can just use different colors. Mr. Sheep says he loves some of the new azalea blocks. I'm going to teach you guys how to make these blocks look beautiful. Place some of them down right outside your house. You have these beautiful, like modern floating little tree bushes. You don't only have the azalea block with the moss block on top, but you also have the flowering azalea block with the flowering azalea leaves. Throw some of this glowing stuff on there. I personally like doing a mixture. Our next little build hack, we have these awesome lightning rods and you can stack soul lanterns on top and make them a little bit taller. You kind of got to dig down and then place it on the bottom. So then it looks like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there you go. You have these little light posts. They're so cool. And gardens are really cool, but they just feel like they're missing something. Let's go ahead and do something right in the back here. Let's throw some melons and pumpkins up here, just like so. And then to spice it up a little bit, let's throw some candles on them. That's a lot better. This next one is honestly one of my favorites. It's so cool. We're gonna grab some lightning rods and we're going to extend down from this tree. We're gonna make a floating little swing set. All right, so I placed a couple of the lightning rods. Then we're gonna throw down a trap door right here. We're gonna go ahead and continue that trap door across. And then we're gonna do some on the back side right here in the middle for a seat. Patch that grass and look at that. That is so cool. You have a floating little seat. This pond needs a little bit of extra spice. We're gonna go over here in this corner. We're gonna place down uh, some pieces of dirt here and we're gonna place a bunch of candles. Delete this dirt and place down some sugar cane. Then we're gonna do the same thing, but in the back. Throw down some sticks of a bamboo, just like so, and grow all those bad boys with some bone meal. And look at that. You can put them in the pond as well. I decided to do do green stained glass panes. Well, it looks magical. Next thing we're gonna do to the pond is one of my favorites. We're gonna take these trap doors, put them out here. You have your trap door. Now we're going to spawn in some drip leaves around the trap door. Drop your large crystal, your large amethyst bud crystal right in the middle and look at how cool that looks. I did an item frame and some coral fans and sponges on this one. That one's pretty cool. Look at that. Let's say you have two chairs here, but you're kind of missing something in the middle. We're going to go ahead and spawn two pieces of dirt here. We're going to spawn in some candles, and then we're going to place some turtle eggs. How cute. And then we're going to go for the drip leaves. Then you have a floating drip leaf table that you can put stuff on. Two cool statues. These are really easy, so follow along. Over here, we have cobbled deet slate slabs on top of deet slate tiles, just like so. And over here, we have some stones and stuff with the nether star and embedded in the lotus stone. I'm gonna go ahead and put a dispenser here, drop my armor stand into it, and then spawn that bad boy. Chisel deep slate tiles, build up a little beautiful thing, and then we need also a lightning rod. Gonna put that lightning rod right there. Gonna go ahead and put a piston on top of this lightning rod, then spawn a block of redstone. It's going to push it down. One more, and again, there we go. Then we're gonna go ahead and delete this and delete all the blocks behind it, and you got a 
weird armor looking statue. So I'm gonna take some of these blocks, I'm gonna stack them up like this, and I'm gonna spawn an end rod upside down, black candle on top of it. So, so fancy, look at that. We should just spawn end rods and put candles on them upside down more often. That looks really, really cool, I like that. I got another fun tip for you guys. Cactuses are also fun to do with candles. We're gonna throw some candles up here on the sand, and then throw in your cactuses. You can also do it in a pot. Look at that. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a dripstone tree. So go ahead and place up some blocks and then delete all the other ones below. Place a dripstone right here, make it a little big, and then we're gonna put some more dripstone and kind of connect it just like so. We're gonna sprout out from this and basically make a tree. Well, look at that! If you wanna get even fancier with it, you can throw some of these flower pots underneath and they kind of look like coconuts. That is so, so cool. And Honestly, it fits the beach. A little glow berry farm. This is really, really cool. First, we're gonna start off just by placing down a bunch of fences so we can make like a little canopy. All right, now that we got the fences placed out, now we're gonna put a bunch of trap doors on top and let's just kind of, uh, kind of connect them all. Just like so, just kind of play connect the dots. There we go, there we go. That's pretty cool. We don't have to be too, too fancy with it. And then we can go ahead and hang our glow berries from the ceiling. Looks really good in the corner. Let's go ahead and make a chandelier. We're gonna put a lightning rod right here and we're gonna make another chandelier right here as well with the chain. We're gonna take our block of amethyst. We're just gonna drop one down and we're just going to put some clusters around it. Here, we'll drop it down two blocks and then drop some clusters around it. And boom, what do you guys think? If you got two paintings on the wall and it just doesn't feel right, throw one of these respawn anchors down and spawn some glowstone on it and it's pretty much going to make it brighter and brighter. Look at that. And then go ahead and throw a crystal on top. How to turn this wall into a shelf with a giant sword, a katana. The process to build this is a little bit confusing. So you first you gotta spawn in some dispensers. I'm gonna spawn in these cut copper stairs, just like that. Then go ahead and spawn in your armor stand and throw down some more stairs, just like that. Throw down a lightning rod and then a chain. Now you're gonna grab a piston and you're gonna spawn it right here and right right there, we want two of them. Drop some redstone on these first two that push the stairs into the armor stand, and then another block of redstone. Delete all of this redstone nonsense, delete all of this, and then spawn the final chain right there, and boom. You have a katana sword resting on a stand with a table. You got some banners, the chairs look nice, you got some carpet, some grass underneath, it looks good, but you need something on that table. Let's go ahead and throw a cake down, drop a candle on top, drop two lightning rods, and then spawn some candles on those, and boom. You got some beautiful table decorations. This light can be as long and as big as you want. We're gonna throw down some of these lightning rods. Go ahead and throw down some flower pots below, and then we're gonna connect them with cacti just like that. Then we're gonna take these four blossoms and spawn them on each one, and you have these beautiful flower-like chandeliers. Everyone uses carpet in their Minecraft house, so let's do something a little bit different. We're gonna spawn down a ton of this moss carpet. Then we're going to delete the blocks in the middle. Then we're gonna take these flowering azalea blocks and place them right in the middle just like so. Looks like a really, really cool rug. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a clock. Go ahead and place down a stair and then another stair right above. But this stair actually needs to face the other way like that. We're gonna go ahead and place some of the Ebo. Oh, oh. It, it just do the trap doors down the side. There we go. Okay, beautiful. We're gonna throw a lightning rod right here in the middle and then an item frame right here and put the clock in it. And there you go. Let's look at these. So it's literally just a banner on the ground and then a lightning rod sticking out of the wall. That's it. You got some more free space. You can make a cool little table with a cool pattern. Throw down some blocks of coal, then grab this calcite block and throw throw it down, kind of like a checkered pattern. Some of these candles. We're gonna do trap doors all around just to make it look a little bit better. Oh, look at that. Old rusty arcade machine. Super, super simple. We're gonna get another exposed cut copper slab and place it on top. Some crimson doors on the side. 
if I could place it correctly. There we go. Crimson doors on the side, item frame with a black stone brick, and then put a sign over it, just like so. Gonna throw another item frame right here with this on it for your screen, and then two candles as the joysticks. We're headed down into the garage right now, and in the garage, we've kind of converted it into a little laboratory. What if we use this lightning rod, connect a bunch of things, and make it look like pipes? We're gonna start here with these hoppers, and boom. Gonna throw another one on the ceiling, and this one. Okay, look at that! We got a bunch of pipes connecting. That, that literally totally changed the vibe of this room. We have this little mine here, and there's a ton of TNT. You can actually take these red candles and throw them on the TNT, and for some reason, it just looks so, so cool. They're like little sticks of dynamite. If you have a rug like this, which is actually pretty cool and easy to make, it's an ender dragon rug, place candles in his mouth just like this, and it kind of looks like he has teeth. You can also light them, and it looks like his nostrils are breathing fire. Cool statue in front of the house is gonna be a robot. Go ahead and place down some pieces of this block of copper. Place down a grindstone. You want it to be upside down, so he kind of looks like he's riding on a wheel. Then we're gonna place an observer block. Make sure the face is facing wherever you want because this is his head. Then go ahead and give him some lightning rods for arms and an antenna on the head, and then put a glow item frame on his chest to make him look like Iron Man. For an extra touch, you could throw a repeater in there because it looks kind of cool, but there you go a cool wither statue. I got deep slate tile walls, slabs, and stairs. Place down a tile, then we're gonna go for two walls, and then go off to the side, just like so, and just kind of continue up doing that same thing. Place them on the three points like the heads, and you can see the little faces in there. Isn't that so cool? Ice cream stand. This is something really cool to put outside next to the pool. We got an empty wall over here, so let's go ahead and make one. This one's on Honestly, probably one of my favorites. This is the waxed cut copper. We're gonna place down a bone block with a purple block. Go ahead and throw some trap doors and flip them up just like so. Pretty simple. Then we're gonna get the same block just in slab form and go ahead and do that. Put some blocks of copper right there and then two glowing item frames. Pick your favorite flavors of ice cream. I'm gonna pick strawberry and chocolate. And then you can go ahead and put that up in the item frame and then go ahead and drop in some dripstone for the nozzles for the ice cream and then two levers right there. And look at that, a ravine or some type of cave entrance. You can do kind of crazy things like drop in some lava some magma, add a drawstring bridge kind of going across. What we can do here is spawn in some of these slabs. Then we can connect them with lightning rods. There we go. Look at that. Now you can still fall in between him, so be careful. You have a little bridge. We're gonna start with placing two shulker boxes. We're gonna put armor stands on top of the shulker boxes. Then we're gonna get some crimson trap doors. There we go. Now we got all our trap doors. We're gonna throw two more shulker boxes on top. You know what? Another thing I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna turn these armor stands. Now it's time to put in some of our armor. I'm gonna drop in some diamond, top it off some two glow item frames. We're gonna do blackstone slabs, throw them in there like so. Wanna get a little more fancy, we can throw some crimson signs in there as well. And look at that, uh-huh, yeah. These floors look great. But oh boy, are they boring. We're gonna dig down, place some water, and then drop down a coral block so it can stay alive and not die. Then we're gonna go ahead and surround that in a carpet. And circle around this boy like that. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side here. Check this out. Voila, so you got a design that looks kind of like that, right? Go ahead and dig up all this wood, place down some wool. So far, it's looking like some Christmas colors, but we're gonna give it a little bit of a spice by putting the glow lichen block on here. And voila, fancy stair case. There's actually no way to get to the second floor right now. So right here is where we're going to build a staircase. Place two pillars right here. This is going to be the start of our stairs. Throw down some quartz. Then I'm going to throw down another layer of quartz. This one's actually all going to go all the way to the wall there. Then we'll do another one right here. And then this is where we actually start the stairs going 
up. We might have to delete this block as well. These stripped crimson blocks going all the way to the ceiling here. And then we're going to do some glow berries. Yeah, don't eat them. Don't eat them. There we go. How cool is that? A very simple, elegant staircase. Blank area over here. And it needs to be taken care of. First thing you want to do is you want to find the center point of the wall. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build something like this. Our fireplace is going to go right here. We're going to drop in some soul sand and then light that boy on fire. We're going to go ahead and continue this wall. And then we're actually going to cover this up. So the fireplace looks kind of hidden down there. We're going to do something a little fancy on the sides. We're going to go ahead and dig in the wall here and replace that with bookshelves. Okay, okay. Going to do the same thing on the other side. Now it's time to make our TV. We're going to throw some black terracotta blocks up here with a button to turn on the TV. TV obviously needs some speakers. So we're going to drop some end rods, skeleton skulls on them, just like so. So those are our speakers. And then we can get a little fancy with some other decorations. Decorations. All right, so I'm going to throw a flower pot here, a crystal here, and then two flower pots on this side. We'll throw a cactus in this one, a flower in this one, and then an orange tulip in this one. And there you go. We need a sofa. First thing we need is a coffee table. We're going to place down some of these deep slate slabs. These are really cool. And then we're going to put some snow in the middle. Now it's time to build that couch. We're going to use some stairs. Then we're going to use the stripped block from the nether. We're going to go sideways with it here, and then another two blocks of stairs. Now, keep in mind, guys, when we're building all this stuff, you can use whatever block you want. I'm going to place these black stone buttons on the other side. We're going to be putting down some snow. Look at that. And then another slab here. We're going to go a little bit higher, about three times high. Oh, that's four. And look at that. We're going to repeat the same thing on the other side here. And boom, we have our living room just like that. Wow. And to give one more bit of spice to this living room, I'm going to delete all the blocks around here, then put water I'm going to put slabs and this is actually going to keep the water underneath so we can do a bubble coral fan for a rug. There we go. That's going to keep the coral alive that the water's right there and woo that looks good. Another cool thing we're going to build is a lamp. We have a lightning rod and then some end rods and we're going to drop some signs on it and look at that. So we got a nice little lamp in the corner of our couch. I think the ceiling needs something as well. So I'm going to place down some slabs here. I'm going to make kind of a rectangle shape on the ceiling just like that there we go we have our little rectangle and we're gonna place some in rods in the middle and this corner where the window is i'm gonna build a really cool table we're gonna start off with placing down some trap doors slip up the trap doors okay there we go then we're gonna put some warped blocks in the middle just like so okay okay gonna put two big warped plants on the side finish off the trap doors close them up and you got a cool little table in the window the kitchen oh my gosh do we have a lot of work to do here starting off with the kitchen we're gonna build some simple blocks right here you can use whatever blocks you want and then we're going to go up two blocks and we're going to build the second section of the kitchen. We're going to space it out. These are going to be like our cabinets up top. Now we're going to use some sea lanterns on each side. And then we're going to drop a bunch of trap doors on top for some extra detail. When in doubt, put a trap door on something. It looks beautiful. We're going to put trap doors underneath as well. And then we're also going to put trap doors on the front, but only two because these are actually for the stoves. And then we're going to put buttons next to them. More buttons up top as well. These are basically going to be your buttons, like your handles for the cabinets. And then we're going to place down two campfires. And on top of that, we're going to put lodestones. So these are actually our stoves. And as you can see, the campfires add a really nice smoking effect. Going to throw some pressure plates on top of those. And then some black stone walls. This is going to be like our oven vents right here. Ooh Let's throw a cake over here. We gotta definitely have some food in the kitchen and a brewing stand. Now for extra detail, throw some water bottles in the brewing stand, make it look nice. Throw some sea pickles to the side. I love a sea pickle next to my brewing stand and a flower pot with a nice lily inside. Now we're dropping some signs on the oven and we're gonna, we're basically gonna place dot, 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 oh, oh, oh. These are like your button knobs. You know, when you go to the oven and you have like a bunch of knobs, that is exactly what we're making right now with signs. And then we can dye the signs and make them white and then use glowing ink sacks to make them look brighter and glow. That's a little hack for you. And there we go. Over here in the corner of the kitchen, we're going to build the fridge. Now, the fridge is very, very special. We're going to go up with some gray blocks and throw some iron doors on top. And then we're going to use a loom. We're going to throw a gray banner in there. We're going to pick a very specific light gray plate banner, throw it in there one more time. And then we are going to get this banner right here. Throw it in there again. 
and we're gonna get this banner. So we're basically making really, really specific banners for this refrigerator. Same thing for this other side. We got the light gray banner, throw some more light gray dye in there. And then we have the light gray banner with the creeper face. Then we have the light gray banner with the blue on the side. So we're basically making it look like an H and boom, there we go. So we have our completely custom banners just for the fridge. We're gonna drop down a normal banner drop down that first custom banner that we made and then the last custom banner that we made. And boom, look at that. It's an island in front of the kitchen. We all love an island. It's a really, really good entertaining space. So we're gonna drop down some blocks right here, at least some smooth stairs. And then we're gonna place two more and then we're gonna put slabs to the left and right. Place down two, two of these. These are going to be actually our bar stools that we have out here. We're gonna put down a lever here. This is actually for our sink. And then a button on the side and another button on that side. So we're actually gonna make plates for whoever is sitting there. So we're gonna go ahead and drop a red mushroom block in there and then a lime glazed terracotta in the other one. And then we're gonna place a bubble coral fan, which basically acts as our plate, a very, very fancy plate. Then we're gonna drop a flower and it's okay if the bubble coral flans turn gray. That's actually good. The plates look good when they're gray. And then boom, there you go, is a dining room table. And this dining room table is gonna be absolutely beautiful. And then we're gonna cover the top of it with this light gray carpet. For the chairs, we're gonna use this black polished stone. Then we're going to place them all the way around just like so. And then for the back of the chairs, we're going to use a crimson trap door for the backs of all the chairs. Look at that, dude. Oh, that literally looks so good. We're almost done. Just got this last chair here. All right, now for the fancy part, we're going to take out the loom. We're going to throw some lime dye in there and we're going to get a big magenta banner that looks like this. And then for this banner, we are actually going to throw it on the front of all of our chairs. So that way it gives the chairs some character other than just the plain trap doors. Woo, that looks good. All right, now for the table itself. Of course, we gotta have a fancy table, so we're gonna throw an end rod there on each side. Then we're gonna go ahead and throw a candle on top. We're gonna do three candles. You can do one if you want, totally up to you. And then of course, you gotta light the candles. I mean, come on. And then to top it off, we got a lantern with some chains. We got a really fancy light we're actually gonna hang. Drop lanterns on the chains. And then we're gonna put signs around the lanterns. Boom, look at that. We have our dining room table gaming desk with monitors. We're gonna throw quartz blocks on the side and then we're gonna throw stairs. And then we're gonna flip these stairs upside down. We got our loom with our light blue banner and our blue dye. We're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're gonna pick this one right here. Throw down some black dye and pick this one with a frame around it. And we are going to pick this one right here. Now it looks like two monitors. We're gonna take this banner and we're gonna place down one, two, three. We got a triple monitor set up here. And then we're gonna place down some gray carpet to cover up the bottom part of the banner. And yo, look at that! Here's our keyboard and here's our mouse. In rods on the side with some turtle eggs for our speakers. Voila. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, these are not our speakers. These, this is just a lamp. <laughs> and there we go, we got a computer set up. This looks so sick. I'm building the bed here. So we're gonna build up the sides of it with some blocks. We're gonna throw down three blocks in the middle and then some stairs on the sides and then some black stone. We're gonna use snow for the bed itself. Kind of like, imagine if that was our blankets just laying on the side of the bed. That's what I'm envisioning there. Then we're gonna do some deep slate tile slabs going around the bed. These are actually gonna be really cool shelves that we're gonna put on top of the bed. We're gonna put down a ton of stuff. Look at that! Throw down some carpet. We're actually gonna get kind of fancy with this carpet. I wanna do a bunch of different colors. I want them something exciting here. Throw down some red right here. Now for the small details. We got an end rod with a sea pickle on top. This is kind of like our lamp. Actually, it looks like a pretty cool lamp. Then we're gonna throw a flower pot right here and then another flower pot. Some warped roots some crimson roots for that flower. Yeah, that is a very nice looking bed. All right, so in this little indention in the wall, we're gonna make a sick closet. We're gonna go ahead and do some deep slate tiles up top, just like so. Drop in a shulker box, one on each side. We're gonna throw down two armor stands. This is where we're gonna put our clothes and then two more armor stands in the middle. And then these are gonna be kind of like our glass doors. Think of it if you have some closet doors that open up, these are basically what these are. And then of course we need door handles. So that's 
that's what the iron bars are. And then boom, there you go. This is the bedroom. Does this not look absolutely insane? I also threw two little chairs over here in the corner with some flower pots and a lantern dripping down on them. I think this looks so good. I laid down a carpet and it makes this room look so much better. Bathroom sink, the toilet, and the cabinets. This is actually a mirror we're gonna build right here with some ice. And then we're gonna do cabinets on the side of it. All right, let's do some buttons here for the sink. Then we're gonna drop in some crimson trap doors on top. Then some crimson signs. We're actually gonna drop in some lines here that actually look like handles. And then go ahead and do some glow squid and some white dye on that and make them shine. Yeah, look at them handles. All right, now we're getting really fancy. We got some glowing item frames that we're gonna put sea lanterns in. And these are actually gonna be our lights for our mirror. How cool is that? Then we're gonna drop in another glow frame with a banner and then another banner in front of the sink here. And then some amethyst crystals, another flower pot. This bathtub is gonna be pretty big. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna take up most of the bathroom, but it is going to be a showstopper. We're throwing this black stone all around it. I figured this block would look pretty good for a bathtub. Now we're gonna throw the staircase all around. So it kind of looks like the tub is caving in like a normal tub would. And we got our lever over here. And then we got an in rod up top with an iron trap door. Then we're gonna throw some other trap doors on the side. These are actually gonna act as shelves where we're gonna put things next to the bathtub. We're throwing in a black stone wall because we're actually going to kind of enclose it kind of like a shower. We're gonna add some glass right here. We're gonna add some more slabs. These are kind of your steps to get out of the bathtub. We're gonna keep building this and add some small details. This voila! Look at this place. So we finished up the small details, put water in the tub, and wow. It looks so good in here. We also added this really cool rug. We added a towel robe right here with a lightning rod. Added some stuff in the window seal. We got our toilet with, of course, our plunger and toilet paper. And then here is the sink. We got this big driveway, but no cool vehicles. Let's build them a quad bike. First thing we're gonna do is dig out four little holes like this. And then we're actually gonna dig down a little bit lower and we're gonna place some slabs down here. Drop these dispensers here. Now this is not for the bike, we're just trying to drop in some armor stands. Fill the dispensers with armor stands and then go ahead and spawn them in with their skeleton skulls on them. Then we're gonna do something pretty unique here. We're gonna drop a piston behind these heads, then a piece of redstone and it pushes them just like so. So it's gonna push that armor stand forward a little bit, move it to there. Then we're gonna do something really unique here. So we're gonna place a piston here, two pistons, and we're gonna drop these blocks on them just like so. Then and we're gonna go ahead and drop them into the ground. And then we're gonna go ahead and push them down one block further. Now it looks like these tires are sitting on the ground. Put some crimson fence gates right here to connect them. Drop a quartz slab on top and then a quartz slab right here. Trap door right here. And then for our final touch, two in rods on the side and voila we have ourselves a quad bike. We're gonna place a chandelier right here. So we wanna center this with the table. So we wanna place it under this tree. So we're gonna go with the polished black stone wall. Then we're gonna drop some lightning rods all around it. Another lightning rod in the middle and then an in rod. We're gonna drop some in rods on all of these lightning rods. And then if you wanna get really fancy with it, break these and flip them around. And that is our chandelier. Looks good. Now the kitchen is absolutely beautiful. I think you could use some bar stools right here. These bar stools are super easy to make. We're gonna place down some lightning rods and then some of these black stone pressure plates. And then we're gonna drop a sign on the back of them. Look at that. Super easy to make, super modern, super clean. What we're gonna do here is super cool and super easy. We're gonna place up three blocks. Doesn't matter what block. Place a campfire on top delete all these blocks. Then we're gonna place some dripstone here, dripstone here, and look at that. You have these awesome lamps around the backyard in these chairs, and wow, it just changes the vibe of this place. Here is the bedroom. Now this bedroom is super, super important, and wow, we're gonna make some awesome custom carpet around this bed. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place down some signs, and you can kind of do whatever you want with these signs. Do a little bit of this right here on the corners. Look at this, isn't that cool? So now that we got all our 
signs in. The next part is super easy. We're just gonna go ahead and place some carpet. There we go. Look at that. We went ahead and did the rest of the room. We got another little rug right here. Another rug over here with the seating area and bookshelf. First thing off the bat, this house is sick. First thing we're gonna do here is just like what we did with the ATV with the heads and push them together. Go ahead and drop in these armor stands. Get rid of these. Throw on these wither skulls and then we are going to push them in a little bit. Go ahead and drop these bad boys down. Drop them in again. Place down some snow. You can hop on it and boom! This place is absolutely stunning. A trash can. That's exactly what we're gonna make right now is a trash can. This is super simple. We're gonna surround these with pictures just like so and then go ahead and throw a lid and then you can open it and then throw your stuff right in. Get rid of it and close the lid. Kind of feels a little empty right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down four chains. Then we're gonna drop some pressure plates. Quartz. We're gonna do a little seating area. There we go. Look at that. Not too much. Not too little. Oh, bro. You need an inflatable swan. To build this inflatable swan, we're gonna make a little L just like so. And a little bit of that. And then we're gonna put a button there for the eye. Why? Look at that. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So these are basically his wings. Drop his eye on there. And then his beak on the front. There we go. Look at that. George not found house. Oh, beautiful living room. Awesome looking kitchen. But bro, where is your lamp set? I'm gonna show you guys how to make a super easy lamp. So pretty much you go up with two end rods. You drop down some gel bars. You got another one over here as well. It's just a nice little touch for the corner of your couch. We build this helicopter right over the pool, eh? All right, so we need one block and then a slab and then another block. Then we're gonna place some glass, another slab, and then we're gonna place these trap doors and then we're gonna place two on the side. All right, we're about to make this boy look like a helicopter. We got this, we got a button back here. Does it look like a helicopter now? Ah! Aha, yeah, it's like a little drone. Extra detail, throw some levers on the side and there we go, voila. Really cool bushes like these. What you're gonna do is super, super simple. Build up four blocks and then delete one of these blocks and place some glow berries. Then we're gonna place warp trap doors and voila. This bedroom is perfect. He's got awesome stuff on the ground. We're gonna throw a guitar on this wall. Start off with the guitar. You're gonna place these warped uh, blocks. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Oh, my bad, not a trap door there. We're gonna put a trap door right there. Yeah, there we go. Then we're gonna place a skeleton skull right here. You don't wanna see the face of that skeleton. And this is where the build hack comes in. You're gonna type in this command and it's gonna give you an invisible item frame. Throw it right there so it looks like it's floating. Going up to Athmau's house. This house is absolutely stunning. I love all the colors. Definitely in seeing some problems here. There's a lot of empty space. Let's build an umbrella between we're gonna take a blackstone wall and then a crimson fence, another blackstone wall, and then we're gonna build off of it just like this. Build under it just like so, and then we're going to extend these sides. Moss carpet, this stuff is my favorite, and we're just gonna drop it on top of here. That actually looks really, really good. We're gonna build a gazebo, and we're gonna build like a big waterfall lamp looking thing. First, we're gonna build this cool waterfall lamp looking thing. It is kind of big, and I don't want it to feel too crazy back there. We're gonna build straight up. So far, so good. Then we're gonna place these stairs here. Then we're gonna place some more stairs up here. Pretty simple so far. These walls and put them right here. And then we're gonna take these end rods and put them right here. And then you're gonna dig out the middle and this is gonna be where our water goes. Place down a slab and then drop in the water. Like a really cool gazebo. So you're gonna take drip leaves. You're gonna put them on each side. We're gonna go three blocks up. Some work trap doors connect all of the drip leaves. We're gonna put four campfires on top. Then we're gonna use a shovel to put out the fire. We're gonna take some of these crimson stairs and then we're gonna take more of the drip leaves and make a little table out of them like this. Aha! We're gonna take some glow berries, put them on the warped trap doors, and then we're gonna take two spore blossoms and throw them right here for the entrance. This place is so, so cool. This is my buddy's house, and also, bro, I love this tree. You need a coffee machine. Make this coffee table, we're gonna place some blackstone and then some polished blackstone bricks. Great concrete on the side, and then tinted glass. 
an observer block just like so. So this is the beginning of our coffee machine. Place two glow item frames, a lever, turn it down, iron trap door, place a sign, place some cocoa beans up there in that item frame, and then a flower pot as your cup of coffee. And voila, a little touch of something on the ceiling. So we're gonna place blackstone brick, then you're gonna place a chain, and then a iron trap door. And then above that trap door, we are going to place these other trap doors that are different. And voila, look at that. That just like completely changes the space and the vibe. I love it. I'm gonna show you guys how to build a trampoline and an air hockey table. All right, we're gonna start off with the base of the trampoline here. There we go. Something like this, you can make it a lot bigger or a lot smaller, totally up to you. And then we're gonna place slime blocks all in the middle. And then we're gonna place carpet over those slime blocks to cover them up. And we're gonna make a really, really cool net. We're gonna start off with yellow, and then we're gonna transition into red, and then go into green, and then blue. Look at that. Place some lightning rods as legs, and then you can drop in your ladder, so that way you can hop in the trampoline. Awesome. For this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place some blocks down, and then we're gonna do stairs on one side, and stairs on the other side. Then we're gonna dig underground, place a slab right here, cover it up, and then we're gonna drop in a dispenser, if I can place it right, there we go. Then dropping an armor stand in there, and then go ahead and spawn it in, just like so. Spawn in the dispenser, drop a glow item frame on each of them, and then we're gonna drop a wool block, and then we're gonna drop some snow around these guys, carpet, in the middle here. Drop some blackstone brick walls on the side. There we go, look at that. And then to touch it off, we're gonna do a glowstone, an iron trap door, flip it around, and then drop a banner on it. Gonna do the same thing on the other side. Voila! You have your air hockey table. And this thing honestly looks really good. Now this will go great inside in a game room. This is a water slide. It kind of looks like one of those inflatable water slides that you would get for like a birthday party. But why not have one in your backyard? You're pretty much gonna place down a bunch of blocks and make a staircase going up it. And then you're gonna place blocks down in the middle. That is pretty much it. Place down your water and boom. It's just going into your garden. You see, with building hacks and building things in your Minecraft world and on your house, it's all about the small things. Big drip leaves on the side. We got a spore blossom in the middle and then a trap door on top. This one is a little more advanced, obviously, but it's pretty simple. We got some terracotta blocks and some concrete for his body. We got a fence gate that is open for his legs. Then we got a slab for his nose. And then we have a white stained glass pane in an item frame with a button on top for his eye. Then on top of his head, we got some warped roots in a flower pot. And then for the peacock kind of feathers out the back, we have tons of warped trap doors with buttons. I thought this was just so, so cool. It looks like a little map of the nether, even with a little nether portal right there. And around all the edges, we're gonna place the warped trap doors. And on the ground here, you can kind of configure it wherever you like. You can put the trees and the roots wherever you like. We have some warped roots and some twisted vines. Then we have some crimson fences. You're also probably curious and speak well, how do you make the magenta banner? All you need is some purple play, purple field mason, black bordeaux, and black fess. And you take all that and configure it into a banner and it actually makes a mini little nether portal. It's really cool and super, super easy to make. We have two looms that are behind here. And then we have a quartz stair, a quartz slab, and then a quartz block with some trap doors underneath and then a button on the side. Look shelf. It looks so, so good. And you can use any type of block you want. Behind it, I want you to take out that wall and put down a bunch of bookshelves. And then pretty much you're gonna take down quartz slabs and quartz stairs and just go across, then go up. On the side, you're going to place these little steps that come out. You can throw whatever you want on there. First to build this, you actually have to take two armor stands, drop one down, and then drop another one on top of each other and make sure they're wearing black dyed leather tunics. So we're basically gonna put those in the ground and that is going to be the wheels of the chair. Then above that, we have a polished blackstone slab and then a crimson finske and a crimson trap door and boom. Let me tell you, this monitor looks so cool. Look at how good the monitor stand looks and everything. All right, so to make this, it's also pretty simple. You're gonna throw up two armor stands on the side and you're gonna use redstone pistons to basically 
basically push them in together. And then pretty much you're just gonna place some black stone slabs on top of those. Then you can add some little touches to the side. We also have a polished black stone slab with a banner inside of it. Just a little cactus. Manga's characters that we can make and throw up in our house. This first character we have over here is really simple. It's just red concrete, then twisted vines on top for his head. Do whatever, you know, put different flower pots on their head. This one is also pretty simple to make. You're pretty much gonna place down two black concrete blocks on each side. And then in the middle, you're gonna place a loom and a stone cutter. And then we're gonna place a glowing item frame on each of the sides, four of them. And then go ahead and place different colored glass panes. Put a button on there as well. And there we go. Just randomly threw these down. I honestly think you should like put them closer to a wall or maybe in a case or something cool. But these are super easy to make. I mean, just place down a lightning rod just like so, and then place some stained glass on top and boom. I thought this was pretty cool to throw maybe near your closet or something. You know, when you're getting ready, you gotta iron those clothes. We have a trap door, an iron trap door, and then we have rails that lead up to it for the stand. Laid down some carpet on top and then another trap door at the head of the ironing board. Everyone loves to cook food outside, so why not bring a barbecue pit to your own house? Now this one is a little bit more complicated to build. In the back here, we have some polished blackstone blocks sitting next to some blackstone walls. Then on top of that, we have some blackstone brick stairs with some dark oak trap doors. We have a smithing table. We actually have two of them here. And on the side, we have some more blackstone slabs. Then we have a red banner with an item frame showing through. And then we have two more item frames on the side. But there you go, voila. Now, obviously you want to throw this on a basketball court or you could just throw it in your front yard. Doesn't really matter. But if you want to get real fancy with it and make a whole basketball court, that would be pretty sick. Pretty much what we have here is we have a brick wall placed on some spruce fences with another brick wall. And then we have a bunch of different colored stained glass. Then we have crimson trap doors, basically creating a little square here for the goal. And then a cobweb in the middle to kind of slow down the balls like a net would. It looks kind of weird, but I got to admit, it does look like a bike. I would throw this maybe in your front yard. You just have two grindstones for the tire. You have a dark oak fence gate for the middle and then a dark oak trap door on the back. For the handlebars, you have a spruce fence with two lightning rods coming out the side and boom. I recommend putting this somewhere near your slide, probably in the backyard, but we can run up on here and we have literally a bouncing house. We have one piece of redstone and then one sticky piston that basically holds together all of the slime blocks. So when you step on this one little pressure plate right here, pretty much gonna make you go bouncy bouncy. Then we have some glazed terracotta going around the side and then on the sides, we have some yellow concrete with a bunch of wool blocks and some more orange concrete. And then up here, we kind of made it look like a castle because a lot of bouncy houses kind of look like castles. You could do literally whatever you want. You could even make this bouncy house three times the size if you wanted. It's totally up to you.